I mean, I, I like being on stage. You know, I was uh, I was always kind of naturally drawn to standing up and speaking in front of people. I was right. a sort of fearful show off, I suppose. A tour guide, I would have been happy to. Have You'd been have been a tour br- guide. well, because I've done your tour in Edinburgh one yeah. day, which was just wonderful. I mean, it's one that, one of those things that stands out in your memory. Yeah, I mean, I'm debating whether to do one again this year because I did get arrested at one of them. You're actually, actually, genuinely arrested yeah, by a proper yeah, policeman. Yeah, who yeah. had jurisdiction over your liberty. Yeah, exactly. I was uh, well. Simon Munnery, the comedian, got arrested before me, right. and then I went down the station to commiserate with Munnery because I felt guilty. And then after about an hour of sitting around in the waiting room, they came out and arrested me. Wow! In the police station. I mean, what, yeah, what? I like the idea that we've got to find this Mr. Binks. Yes. <laughs> Where can we find him? Do you think? Where can he be hiding out? Oh, let's have a look in the waiting room. <laughs> Actually, mostly, uh, they've always been quite friendly and good, yeah. the, the Edinburgh police, with it. There was a time when we stopped outside. There is a, I don't know if it's still there, a kind of lock-up halfway up the Royal Mile. And I, I don't know, 150 people, and it was a long time ago because Nelson Mandela was still in prison. Right. And I got everyone, everyone was singing, free Nelson Mandela, because I said he was banged up inside <laughs> the nick here. And this old Edinburgh. copper came out and said, oh, will you please be quiet, you're weak and the poor prisoners. And I said, well, we will be quiet when you release Nelson Mandela. And brilliantly, the guy said, oh, well, I'll just let him out a Sage Street round there. If you like to go round in the way. <laughs> That's how we all laughed, everyone. That's great. Yeah.